Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today we take a look at the French tier 9 medium tank, the AMX 30 first prototype. Now before we come to some gameplay, let's talk about the strengths of this tanks. So what you can see, um, we are using tanks GG and uh, the strength of this tanks of this tank are the base DPM. 2800 base DPM, base DPM sorry, is pretty solid. Um, you get a tier 10 gun with uh, 390 alpha damage, um, which is pretty solid on tier 9. Um, the gun stats itself are not as good as, for example, on the Leopard PTA. Gun dispersion uh, 0.35, which is like mediocre. Um, the uh, penetration is mediocre with uh, 248. It's, it's not bad, um, but it's not superb either. Um, the other thing that is really good about this tank is the top speed. 65 kilometers per hour is really, really good. Reverse speed 23. And uh, having 720 horsepower gives it a power to weight ratio of uh, 22.1. So this tank is very, very mobile. And it's actually as fast as uh, many of the light tanks and faster than uh, many of the medium tanks. Um, I talked or I already talked about the uh, drawbacks, which is the uh, the soft stats of the gun. Um, now, obviously, this tank is um, a medium tank, so the armor is uh, not as strong as on, uh, for example, heavy tanks. However, if you take a look at the armor model, um, you can see that the surfaces on the on this tank are pretty solid angled. So you will be able to uh, ricochet or to bounce. Um, some shots if, uh, for example, your opponents use uh, auto-aim. Um, this is uh, especially true for the uh, upper hull, uh, but also for the turret. Um, you, you can see it here on the uh, upper part of the turret, but also on the gun mantlet. The gun mantlet is uh, actually pretty strong. It has um, an armor from like uh, 250, 270 up to 344 on the side. And also, if you take a look at the... Um, the upper portion like it goes up to uh, to about uh, 400 like in this uh, in this corner uh, I just saw it like 400 here uh, anyway so you will uh, or the enemy will most likely not be able to penetrate the uh, gun mantlet and um, if the aiming is not solid then uh, yeah there's the chance that uh, some shots might bounce so uh, all in all, the uh, tank is uh, pretty fast, pretty mobile, has a good gun, good tier 10 gun with um, less accurate uh, gun stats uh, compared to, for example, the Leopard PTA. And the armor is so much more solid uh, than, for example, on the uh, paper tanks, um, the um, Leopard PTA or the uh, standard B that we uh, have in the tank, uh, sorry, in the uh, game. Now, before we start with some gameplay, I would like to give you a quick introduction into the map Murowanka. Um, I always see people um, not using the uh, the map to to their um, strength, um, and in my opinion, in order to have good results, you should know the strength of your tank, um, but then also you should have um, enough uh, map knowledge um, to really. To really be able to um, yeah use the tank to your advantage um, now on the map Murovanka there are basically two sides um, if you start from the north um, like the uh, the one and two lane are most uh, or are most likely uh, where you can find the heavy tanks um, on both sides actually so the southern team will also um, go to the uh, one and two lane, most likely with uh, the heavy tanks. Um, you will have obviously uh, TD positions um, covering this side. So that's uh, the, the TDs most often are uh, found here and then uh, vice versa on the uh, other position, like for example, here or here. Um, and then the uh, light tanks, um, most, most of the light tanks either spot here, like from the north here, or here um, and then from the south side uh, respectively here or also here now this um, light tank position is pretty solid because um, if you spot from the north then you will be able to spot like this area and you can spot the people or the uh, tanks going to the uh, to the eight or nine 
um, lane um, and obviously vice versa on the um, on the other hand now the last part is the uh, eight and nine line and on the eight and nine line you can find uh, um, a variety of tanks most likely tanks that are um, either medium tanks or that are um, uh, that have a huge um, gun depression so gun depression strong tanks uh, will most likely um, be here um, and even for example heavy tanks like the uh, the uh, Swedish um, heavy tanks with their uh, 15 degrees or 12 degrees of um, gun depression um, so this is what you should know if you play this tank uh, if you play this um, this map now the um, the region here in the middle like the little the little village is um, like you can play there at the end of the game uh, but at the beginning I would not go there because um, you can be shot uh, from various uh, directions like from uh, people um, on the uh, three lane as well as people uh, from the seven or eight lane. So this is uh, in my opinion what you should know about the um, about the map. Now the um, one thing you, you should know if you for example want to play on the uh, eight or nine lane um, you should know that uh, there are also, of course, some uh, defensive positions. For example, the the red team might be might have some TDs here and here. So if you win this uh, this forest, um, you should expect that there are uh, more tanks waiting in the south of you, and then uh, vice versa um, in the north, like here or maybe here. All right, so here we are in our game on Murwanka. And uh, we are in a top tier situation with our AMX 30. Um, actually, only four tier 9 tanks. The rest is uh, tier 8 and then uh, tier 7. Um, now, in my opinion, you should really use the first 30 seconds to see what's going on in the game. And uh, here we have the situation that we do not have any light tank and also we do not have any artillery. So, this changes the way how the, how the game will be. Uh, will be going um, and as we have no light tank um, I think I will I will do the uh, I will take over the the uh, light responsibility and uh, try to get some spots on the um, on the uh, e6 e7 position um, just checked um, how many people are following to the um, to the left flank because uh, you always want to watch out uh, to have some support on your flank um, there's uh, uh, no possibility in winning uh, a flank on your own most likely I see I think my gun depression here gun depression is not not really enough okay I can spot the see if I can get a shot here uh, that was now that was not uh, possible um, so let's just go back okay I got some uh, Ooh. 504 damage from this scorpion jesus okay i hope he doesn't hit me again no fortunately all right so uh, we got some spotting damage um 708 uh, but uh obviously this trade is not um not a very good one okay so let's see if we can uh, support the left flank and uh push here because i mean uh, we are topped here so we have to do some uh we have to do some active gameplay here all right, so I will use this bush here. I'm not get spotted. Let's see, okay, the 703, 703 is there. Okay, this shot was fully aimed in. Don't know where this went. Let's see, okay, 703. Yeah, nice. 400 damage, nice. All right, so I'll get the. No. Is uh, too strong for the uh, normal AP. Okay, this T54, I just told him to go back because uh, I think he's in a very, very bad uh, position. And we do need him for the game. He's top tier. He just. I, I, I cannot understand this. Like, he has no, got no uh, turret armor and he's just sitting there. Okay, 703. But maybe the T7. T7. Nice. Okay, actually, the shot was not aimed properly, but I had some luck uh, that it went into the cheek of the turret. Let's see, the 703. No. One versus four. I mean, uh, 
One loss on our side and four on the other side. Okay, I think pushing here is uh, too risky because um, they might have some TDs in the back. And here, okay. Now, um, if you take a look at the minimap, you can see that the uh, the right flank uh, will soon be lost. And um, so my decision now here is to uh, go back and support the left flank um, as soon as, or I mean, uh, I mean as uh, as long as we have some um, some uh, team players there. So let's see what we can do. Okay, the standard B is let's see even now he's he's actually hiding behind a building, so no chance on uh, heading there. Um, no. All right, so let's go back to a defensive position and actually. Um, the north of uh, this, okay, the 45 TP. Let's see if we can get a shot in there. Ah, too bad. This shot bounced. Um, okay, maybe maybe a second shot. No, that wasn't me. All right, so now this position here is actually very very good for defensive play. Nice. So we could at least finish this game, uh, this tank. Now we are uh, four to five, so only one tank behind. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the left flank will make it, but uh, we had to help out. Okay, T26. Now, as you see, the um, the gun is like the gun handling is uh, is not as good as on the Leopard PTA. So you really do have to take your time and aim in the shots if you can with the. Um, with the uh, AMX 30. Um, all right, now I think we kind of stabilized the right flank. However, we are two tanks behind, and now the IS 32 got lit. But okay, let's take a look. At the, uh, that was not too good. Okay, the Scorpion goes down seven eight, and uh, let's see if we can get some shots here. It looks like the. Uh, Tanks are hiding behind the, uh, yeah, what is it, little ridge line. Okay, so I'm the only one. However, I I want to stay here because I think it's a super super um, strong position because I can outspot um, uh, advancing tanks. Plus I can um, fall back to take a shot and uh, not get lit. So I think it's uh, super strong. I hope that the uh, left flank will hold, and they will not waste themselves um, on the left flank. Okay, now here I just saw that I'm uh, I'm uh, not fully in in this bush. So uh, now you can see. Okay, now I am. Um, this is obviously uh, what you want to make sure so uh, that you do not get lit. Now the Leo and the Super Hellcat are going to the middle. Okay, let's see if I can get a shot here. Nice. This is what I meant. Nice. Um, just use the. Um, the bushes to shoot, go back, then shoot, and then uh, you won't get lit. Okay, all those tanks are now wasting themselves. That's actually not good. Also, the Super Hellcat. God. Okay, this shot was accuracy of the AMX 30. Let's see if I can get another shot. Okay, he's hiding behind the uh, building. Um, so let's see if we can. Now, all right, we are uh, nine to ten, and we only have uh, thousand six hundred damage. So, um, so far, actually, not a very good game. Let's see. Okay, the uh, WT on Panzer Four. Let's see. Ah. I will just wait here until uh, the enemy makes a mistake. Hopefully the scorpion doesn't push me out. And then what? Let's take some blind shots. Um, I know that this, like the uh, level PDA is lit. He's out of my uh, render range, but I think he's in this bush. So let's just, maybe this one hit, I don't know. But let's just do some, uh, some blind shots. Okay, the Black Prince is there. Unfortunate. Okay, now the okay the um, 
TD is coming up to us. Okay, so now we need to get a shot on him. Okay. <laughs> this is RNG in this game. So far, only bad luck so far. Only bad luck so far. Yeah, but you might get lit once again. It's now 9 to 11. Yeah, I think the, the standard B is like has such a clip potential, so he should really move back. Alright. So the TD managed to shoot on the Scorpion, now we have to hide behind the wreckage. Ooh. Alright. Nice! Nice! He missed his shot, so this, this gives us the opportunity. However, I should have loaded HE. I did not, so we will see. Nice! Nice, okay. I think this was uh, uh, a very poor gameplay of the um, WT on Panzer IV. But now we only have two tanks. Um, the rest of our team died, so we are 10 to 13. Three tanks behind. So now let's... Yeah. Um, I think it's a good idea to uh, knock down those trees in order to uh, close the gap so that I can spot um, without being lit on this side. And then uh, there is no tank, so the, uh, there is no tank that uh, I could spot. And on the other hand, the um, standard B is there, so he will spot all the tanks um, advancing on the 8 and 9 line. And I will try to um, remain in this position and spot the, um, the tanks that are um, approaching here. We made it up to 3,000 damage, which is good. But uh, we have uh, five tanks against us, so uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, only five minutes to go in this game. And uh, obviously, if you are uh, two versus five, then you you shouldn't just advance. You just you, you should uh, let the enemy um, advance and then. Uh, try to get a good defensive position and I think we are in a good defensive position. So let's see. Here you go, Black Prince is coming, nice, one shot into... Now I could use the uh, the bush to not get lit, actually I did not get lit, but here uh, my priority is to take out this tank, so nice tracked, that was very good. Okay, now I got lit, but uh, I don't care for the moment. Oh, this tank. Okay, nice. All right. Okay, so now... Oh, enemies are advancing from multiple positions. Let's see... Okay, the leopard disappeared, so now I have to turn around. Okay, let's turn around. And um, yeah, you can see the Hulk reverse is uh, pretty low here. Um, so let's turn around and see. Um, I think we need to defend against the IS. Yep, yeah, aiming, aiming. Nice, nice, that was good. Now let's see if there is another tank here advancing. Alright, one versus three. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Because uh, once we got lit here, they might approach on the other side. Okay, there's the 703. Oh, he's too short. Yeah, he's too short. Okay. Here you go, and now the Leopard PTA, oh my god. 1300. Alright. He bounces, he bounces, nice. So back in the game, my reload is faster, but I need something else. Okay, let's see. He's turning his turret. Nice, nice. So we managed to knock down the Leopard. Actually, that was also poor gameplay by him. He, he, should, have, he should have just... Uh, focused on me and just uh, you know pushed me and uh, and taken a shot at me but uh, well what can I say 6300 damage and now it's a one versus one situation the t20 so we are actually top tier against the tier 7 however we are one shot um, even for the t20 because I think he, he has um, I think um, uh, 240 alpha so we need to uh, make sure to not um, get ambushed by the uh, T20 because with uh, 6k damage 
I uh, certainly do not want to waste such a good, such a good game. So let's see. I think the um, the D twenty is on the um, a seven or eight lane. I think so. He might advance there. So I would just go here and see. Obviously, only two minutes to go. So um, we need to hurry up, and uh, we'll see if we can make it. Now he might be in uh, one of the strong TD positions over at um, G1. Let's see. Just try to peek out just a little bit. Obviously the time is running out. Yeah, just need to go. All right, so I didn't got lit. Um, I didn't get lit. Sorry. Um, let's see if I can just move out here. Um, he's I didn't get lit. Um, so he's not, he's not here. See, he's, he's actually not on the uh, on the one lane nor on the two lane. So I just need to. Uh, those are the moments where I want to play like defensive, not risk anything. But on the other hand, time is running out, so we need to go. We just need to go, okay? Um, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, he did not advance on the eight or nine lane. Because I think then we will not make it time wise. Alright, I think we just need to go. We just need to go. No time anymore. Where is. Here you go, here you go. He oh, and he is AFK. The T20 is AFK. What happened to him? Oh, <laughs> at the end we were super, super lucky. Super lucky. All right, so with this fantastic game, we are at the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, just give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tank, the AMX-30 first prototype. And I'll see you next time in World of Tanks.